Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna to be talking about the fastest way to become a CRNA. I get this question a lot from especially high schoolers and also from people who are transitioning their career from something else into nursing because they wanna be a CRNA. So today I'm gonna to explain to you the fastest way that you can become a CRNA. Really quick before we get into the details, if you are not a member or have not heard of our More Than Money community that John and I started, make sure you check that out in the description below. I'll post a link. It is a community for nursing and CRNA mentoring to mentor you along your journey and also financial independence or financial freedom and investing. So we put all those things into one because it's important to be conscious of both and a lot of people are passionate about both. So if you want to join, link in the description below, we would love to have you. So I'm going to be completely straightforward here and tell you that the absolute fastest amount of time that it can take to become a CRNA is seven to eight years. There's no really quick way to become a CRNA. I'm just telling you the fastest way that you can do it. So I don't want you to watch this video thinking I'm gonna to explain to you how to become a CRNA in four years or something like that because it's just not possible. But it is possible to decrease the amount of time you spend becoming a CRNA if you do everything in order and do everything right away. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is start taking your nursing prerequisites. That's the anatomy and physiology, regular English, um, taking sociology, psychology, whatever classes your school requires that you're you're gonna attend your associate's degree in nursing at because getting your associate's degree is the fastest track to becoming a CRNA. So you'll wanna reach out to the academic advisor at the school that you're planning on attending for your associate's degree in nursing and finding out what those prerequisites are specifically to that school because they differ from place to place. So find out what those are, start taking those, that should take about one year. So there's your first year on this path. During that first year, you're gonna to wanna to apply to the associate's degree in nursing program because you'll wanna start that immediately after you finish your prerequisites. A lot of nursing schools do allow you to apply while you're still completing your prerequisites, so right when you finish them, you're able to start. Some schools even allow you to apply and start their nursing program while you still have some prerequisites left to finish in the beginning of that first semester of nursing school. So make sure you find out specifically what your school allows. And I know this can be challenging depending on what area you live in because nursing schools are getting very competitive. They have been over the past several years. So the path that I'm describing might be harder and possible for you because your school might not let you apply before you finished your prerequisites. So make sure you figure that out. If you're willing to relocate, that would be helpful if you relocate for your ADN if you're trying to make this faster. But there's nothing wrong with taking a little longer. I just wanted to answer this for the people that want to do it as fast as possible. So next step, according to this plan, year two, you will start your associate's degree in nursing, and that is a two-year program. So that'll be years two and three. You'll be doing your associate's degree in nursing, and then you'll start working in the ICU as soon as you finish your associate's degree. So that will be year four. So years four to five, you'll be working in the ICU, getting your experience, but during that time, you'll also have to be doing a one-year RN to BSN program on this path. That's a big undertaking, but I promise you can do it. I did it, it was busy, it was a hard year, but I was able to get it done, so I know you can do it too. Also during that year, you'll have to be looking at taking the CCRN, which you do need a certain amount of hours to take. It's usually about seven to eight months of working as a nurse before you have those hours. And you'll also wanna be looking at the GRE if that's something the CRNA school you're applying to requires. Now the next step is gonna depend on what CRNA school you're applying to because some CRNA schools allow you to apply before you finish your one year of ICU experience as long as you'll have that one year of ICU experience completed on the start date of the program. Due to accreditation, every SRNA who's starting has to have one year of ICU experience complete before the first day of the CRNA program. So some schools will allow you to apply knowing that you'll finish that one year before you start. But CRNA school is very competitive, so keep that in mind that they might have a lot of applicants that already have their one year. If you're not able to apply while you're getting your first year of ICU experience, the next fastest thing to do will be to apply right after you finish your first year of experience. And that might give you a little more time to not feel stressed out and to be able to take your time with things. So keep that in mind as well. It may add six months to a year on to this entire path that I'm describing, but there's nothing really wrong with that. Okay, so moving forward, so after years four to five, we're coming years five to six. So during years five to six, you'll be getting accepted into a CRNA program and starting CRNA school, which is gonna be three years because all the CRNA programs are transitioning to doctorates and so there won't be any more master's programs, so there won't be any more two-year programs. So if you start your doctorate program in year five, that's year five to six, six to seven, seven to eight. So you're graduating between years seven and eight on this path. 
Um, this would all have to work out perfectly for you to finish at that amount of time because start dates differ in programs. Sometimes you get accepted and don't start for seven more months. So I think a more realistic way to think about it would be to be finishing between years eight and nine, but you could finish between years seven and eight in a perfect world. Also, if you had, I didn't mention this earlier, but if you have your prerequisites done already for nursing because you have another degree and you're transitioning into nursing, that will take a whole year off the beginning because you can just apply straight to nursing school. So really quick, let's go back through everything to make sure that it's very clear. I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get those answered for you. I enjoy explaining this to you and helping you on your path to CRNA school or whatever path you want to take. So make sure you comment below, like this video if you enjoyed it. That really helps me out and it helps bump my videos in the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any more videos like this. And as always, I will see you next week.